Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. No way. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. Take, take out. No monkey in the jungle fly high like a sauna. Bustin' up and I'ma tryna weave up and the cone. it's supposed to be rainy this morning so it's definitely gonna bring a jacket 75 but I did not do last week. I'm running a little bit behind because I usually wake up at seven, which is like, gives me like an hour and some change, which I don't need, but I like to work slow and make breakfast and all that. But last night I took Cedrin right before bed and I don't think like Cedrin gives you that much like of an adrenaline rush, but I definitely just went from being so tired to not being tired at all. I've been doing a lot more than just bacon. I've been doing bacon, eggs, and a cup of fruit. Or I've been doing, I don't know, anything, but I include a cup of fruit. Which if you guys know me, I'm not very good with fruits and vegetables at all, but this year I'm definitely changing that. But some days I just don't have the time. Looks about done to me. Oh, that's like absolutely nothing. This one. Yes. Monday, if you guys didn't know. Hey, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have two classes. We're gonna have a good week. We're gonna have a good day. We're gonna have a good week. But let's take a dip at it. Guys, my 10 a.m. got canceled. Like what? I walked to the lecture and some guy was like, it's canceled. Wow, what a Monday. It's 11.15 right now. This is like about the time I usually get home anyways, like 11.30 actually. So I'm gonna eat lunch at 12, but for now, I'm going to catch up on work. And thanks to amendments, we have things like freedom of religion. And We're gonna take a break from all this and I'm gonna make some lunch. And I really kind of don't want a sandwich. It's also like really stormy today but it hasn't rained yet, but it's supposed to later. I don't have bread. I might have to go get food. It's looking like I gotta go get lunch. So let's go do that. I'm gonna go to Jersey Mike's because uh, I don't know. Today's workout might be uh, might be a lot, but I don't really know. Wow, my hair's looking crazy. Guys, I've been thinking about dyeing my hair 
The issue is that I need to find a hairstylist, preferably in Texas, maybe like Houston. I want one that specializes in curly hair, but that's like hard to find. But maybe in Houston, maybe they have something in Houston. Like I looked really good over summer. And I'm just not, I'm just not feeling that confidence right now. So I'm gonna get my hair done and I'm gonna get my lashes done. And I found a really good nail salon in Houston. And I'm gonna do it all. And then I'm gonna post pictures of myself like I always do. I'm gonna go back to looking like this because I just cannot keep up with what I'm doing. I'm gonna care about my appearance a little bit more. That was actually one of my goals. Like I know I'm beautiful. Okay, I know I'm like ranting on. Like I know I'm beautiful just the way that I am. But like I actually wanna care about my appearance a little bit more because sometimes I actually like don't care at all and I'll leave and then I'll look at myself and I'm like, dumb. You could have tried a little bit harder. Like, sometimes I literally do not do my hair. And I'm like, come on. So that's one of my goals. I haven't I haven't been doing too well, but the fact that it's even in my head right now that I want to get my hair done, lashes done, nails done, then we're getting somewhere. Anything to get me from doing homework, I'll stand in this line for 30 minutes if I have to. My sandwich, I just get ham and uh, cheese, and I gotta heat it up, and then a bag of chips, baked lays because I'm healthy. My days are actually kind of chill, are they not? I have a couple of hours to do, not nothing, but like do homework. I'm gonna finish this sandwich, and then I'm going to probably get dressed for breakfast and keep going with homework. Every time I start at the computer, I want to take a nap. Am I gonna do a day in the life or am I gonna do a week in the life? Because I feel like this video is long. I'm going to practice now. It's 2.30. It's the time I usually leave the house. I keep freaking leaving this place. Like, I'm tired. It's feeling a little windy for a Monday in Texas. Well, I'm off to practice. When did, how did it get to, to 2.35? What? Dominique Mustard. Here he go. What's good? Tell them what we have to do. For the vlog. We got 10.75 second runs. It's a long one, but we gonna get for the vlog. It's a little different group this year. We don't have Mo, we don't have Carlton, we don't have Devin, we don't have Brooke. Is that it? But we added three great new faces. First one being McKenna, transferred from UT. Then we got two freshmen. We got Sam Whitmarsh. And then we have Bailey Goggins. And you guys will meet them a little later. Don't mind my hair right now. I'm going to get a haircut soon. I love Justin Bieber. I like Peaches. Huge fan. I, I was an in the closet Justin Bieber fan as a, as a child. <laughs> I would go to school and hate on Justin Bieber like And then great. come back and oh. sing to him. That was everybody. Yeah. And I would say, what's up with the vlog? What's up? <laughs> Baby, no, this not a time. This ain't no surprise. Every other night I know the movie came in. I'm not cheating, but you know what? We're gonna watch the film. If, you, if it's less than 20, <laughs> good. Good job today, guys. Hey, y'all need to get, some, get your water, fill your water bottles up, fill your Gatorade up. Let's get the money. Period. Have a good day. <laughs> I'm home. It's 5 30, and I'm very, very hungry. 
But I don't really want to eat dinner right now, so I'm gonna just drink a protein shake. So one left. Okay. And I just found out that I'm gonna be hosting again another recruit who hosting means like the recruits. Like when I went on my recruiting visits, I had a host. Now I am the host. You see how roles reverse? It's crazy how fast time can fly. Yeah, I'm definitely not going anywhere. Wow. It is really raining. Oh, dinner, dinner, that means I have to make dinner? Awesome, okay. Hi, mom. Hey, baby. Say hi, Auntie Dolly. Hi, where are you? I'm in Texas. Um, you can see my apartment. There's not much to see. I'm making pasta. Tyler, oh my goodness. They are demons. Do you still miss them? Yeah, I do, but... Ah! Ah! Ten years later, my dinner is ready. See, I'm not very good at presentation, but it tastes good. It's 7.59, 8 o'clock right now. Just turned 8 o'clock. And I'm exhausted. Like, I didn't do the work that I wanted to do today, but it's okay. I'm going to bed. I'm telling you, when I was tired last night, I wasn't joking around. Wow. It says it's not even supposed to rain today. Forgot to show you guys before I started, but I got a cute little picture of it. Not that I'm in it for the money or anything like that, but I haven't been getting paid off of YouTube because I didn't do the tax part of it. And I had asked Dri how she gets paid off of TikTok. And she was like, I didn't fill out of any tax form. And then I was like, hmm, I haven't been getting paid off of YouTube. And Dri goes, um, it's because you have to do the tax form. So thank you, Jonna. Grab my panini press down here. And I'm gonna make a ham sandwich. I'm literally a sophomore in college and I eat lunch like I am in the third grade. This hairstyle is not giving. Looking real cloudy outside. What is Nicholas? That's a storm. Hey, two watches and warnings. That looks so Current bad. watches and warnings. A storm surge warning and the effect for Bolivar Peninsula. That does not mean tornado. Oh, that means hurricane. Is it gonna rain? Potential impacts. Stop. Precautionary preparedness actions. Do not be a thrill seeker or risk your life for senseless photos or videos. If you are prone to a flooding area. Flooding. What does that have to do with tornadoes? Well, they update this. Yeah.
just woke up this morning. I was like, yeah, I'm not in a good mood. It's 12, I'm home, eating Chipotle. I have nothing else to do for the rest of the day, so. I don't remember the last time I picked you guys up, but it was probably right here in this kitchen, me saying what I'm gonna do. Um, but I'm gonna take a shower and wash my hair. I didn't wanna wash it, but it's looking real nasty now. I think I finished my homework for today. I need to do some reading, but there's just like so much to do. I don't have a bathtub. And all I wanna do is take a bubble bath, but I don't have a bathtub. And this is so much reading and I just like history. Like, I searched everywhere for an audiobook and I cannot find one. And the only reason why I want an audiobook is literally because I sat there and read a whole page and was like, what did I even read? Still no shower cutting. Do you see how bright my room is? Put these away. Because they've been here for just, just a little bit too long. I want to eat food today and I don't have any bacon that I like. So let's go before it's like 10 o'clock. Everybody for real needs to stop going to Starbucks because my sandwich is always, always not available. Here's an example of the unit cell for the mineral magnetite. When you cubic shape I feel like I learned about this in like freshman year of high school. Shape. I am done with geology for the week. Love that for me. It's not even due today, it's due tomorrow. Here's some spandex I'm probably gonna wear today and some kind of pants because it's a little bit. I really need to order a dresser, guys. I really do. Plug the drain. I like to plug the drain because I had a roach the other day and I nearly cried. I'm gonna wear my cute little Tokyo shirt that a thing got me. I'm making chicken and rice, but it's nearly almost two o'clock. We have a team meeting at three o'clock today, so we don't start practice at three, so I think I'm gonna be okay. But my rice in a bag broke, so now I'm just cooking rice in a pan. This really slows my process down here. All right, the lighting's very bad, but on a scale of one to 10, how important is looks when you're looking for a guy? I always think of children. Like my future children. Saying, right? <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. What if what if he's everything you ever wanted, but he was ugly? Oh. Er, er, not ugly, just not your type. No, but you know what the thing is? When you learn someone's personality and you get to know them, they become more attractive. That so is I true. Just rely on that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. And if you don't like the way people think or like they act, they become more like money. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. You actually have to give somebody a chance. Yes. Oh, okay. talk to them. You can't just judge them off their Instagram photos. I feel like I cannot get in a relationship through social media. Like I would have to meet them face to face because I'm so judgmental. So, like you can't, you can't learn like how they think, how they talk, how they interact. Yeah, through social media. And like one yeah. small thing will just give me an ick. No, uh, Low key, what? Yeah. It'd be like it'd be like sometimes like that one small thing would just make you totally unattractive. Yeah. You just, yeah. Okay, what if you guys were together for like three years though? Okay, that's a different story. You have a foundation. Yeah. Oh, no, they see. Okay, oh, okay, here, no. Here's, a, here's the question of the day. Here's the question of the day, and I want y'all all to answer this like in the utmost honesty. I don't, fairy tale, I want y'all to answer this. If y'all was, <laughs> how do I zoom in on this? If you was in a relationship with a guy for like three years, four years, right? And y'all really loved each other. But then an accident happened and he slipped into a coma. But you didn't know when he was going to wake up. I was him. And you didn't know when he was going to wake up. Are you staying loyal? That's what I'm saying. Are you staying loyal? Okay, that's so bad. Yes. <laughs> yes, but after a certain period of time. 
Listen, like it could be, it could be five. It could be five hours. It could be five years. It could be fifteen years. It could be. I feel like I wouldn't be able to move on. Like you can't. No, you really can't. You definitely. I would physically not be able to. I like, see. I I ain't, I ain't seen that. I, I've I heard people I tell me about it. No, five years is very excessive. One year is excessive. <laughs> Shoot, I months know, is excessive. Really, if you like move on, you meet somebody else, and they wake up. Mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. never I'm talking about six, five, five. <laughs> <laughs> Personality. I don't know. That would be mm -hmm. hard. I would feel so bad. That would feel bad. Okay, how about this? How about the guy wakes up, you haven't gone nowhere, it's been like, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months, whatever. But he doesn't remember anything. Are you still sticking by his side or does he want to stick by my side? He don't he don't he don't he don't he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't know you. He wakes up and he doesn't know me. He he don't know anything. It's really weird though because like what if they really don't remember when they're gonna treat them like, like you've been dating for like a year and a half. Yeah, and, then and they're be gonna be like, like uh, does she like me or they'll be like, oh it's all day and you're like it's not there's a movie about that. That's frustrating. That is frustrating. I wish nothing. Like, I wish I would never had to give it that. I'll be. See, that's the question of the day. You know what I mean? That's hard. Especially Marry someone who's healthy. Okay. okay. So. so. <laughs> you still do the same <laughs> look. That's Alan, everybody. After that little last clip that you guys saw, we actually did a workout. And then we went to weight room. Weight room was good. We did, like, clean pools and clean high pools and deep squats and all that good stuff. And then I went to my nutrition center and I ate a chicken quesadilla and some rice. but I don't want to eat for another 30 minutes. So I'm gonna go to Target and get flashcards. I'm back. My dishwasher is being like really annoying. I just got some chicken and rice and some Gary Cunning french fries and an ice cream cone because Saturday is cheat day. You eat good all week, you eat bad on the weekend. Well, on Saturday. My camera was literally in my car the whole day. But we went to the cross course at 7.30 in the morning because there's a game at 11 today. We played New Mexico and we beat them 34 to zero. I didn't go to the game. We did a two mile run, so it wasn't bad last time. I ended up doing three miles, but um, yeah. Coach Mallard told me I was running a little bit too slow, but we had a good week overall. Then we were supposed to go to weight room, but they're so weird like about parking on game days and obviously I'd like I'm sure that's at every single school but they were making us park across the street we just got fed up and coach Mallard told us to go home so we did I was always planning to braid my hair today but then I just kind of got lazy and I was like maybe I should do school work and like study and then I just kind of told myself like if you do school every single day you're gonna hate yourself instead of Sunday being my recovery day I'm using my recovery day to be today mental recovery at least. Even though I thought about everything that I needed to do all day. I decided to braid my hair and I binge watched the D'Amelio show. Literally finished it. It was eight episodes long. It made me sad. It was all about mental health. And I don't think people understand how serious that is. Like, I know they're famous and stuff, so like I can't relate to any of that part. Like just the way that they would cry, I'm like, dang, I cry like that. I honestly want to start a podcast. Sometimes I just talk to myself, and I know you guys will be able to relate. I feel like my YouTube channel is such a fun place. Like, also, I cry sometimes. Look at my sister having fun on her bad trip. She really pisses me off that I'm not there. My oldest sister, Desiree, with the little children, Kalea and Kai. She's getting married in November in Hawaii, and they went on her bad trip this weekend. Obviously, I couldn't go because, like, practice and all that. But yeah, they've just been posting about it and it just kind of makes me so sad. <laughs> Call it FOMO with my own family. Literally nothing else. I 
didn't see my trainer all week and I'm feeling fine, but I'm scheduled for tomorrow at 11.30. It's a little bit different this year. Well, actually it's like back to normal. I'm just like not used to what it is. I'm used to Corona. Yeah, I didn't go to the trainers at all last week. I was feeling fine. I'm still feeling fine, but you know, it's good to go before you do get hurt. Okay, let me finish this before I'm sitting here doing this for the rest of the day. Actually, I'm moving at a pretty good pace. I'm gonna give myself one more hour to finish this class, and then I'm gonna watch church. My turkey bacon wasn't available, so they gave me this. And if you guys are loyal subscribers, you would know. That is not the bacon that I use. This jacket, like, little fuzzies fly out of it and I think they're bugs. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.